Welcome back everybody, and today I have behind me my easy to build compact iron farm. As you can see, it's working right now, so let's go ahead and take a look at the design. So there are three component, three main components to this iron farm here. First is the spawning and killing chamber setup. Second is the villager scaring mechanism, so we have the villagers here, and the scaring zombie right here. And up top we just have a timer mechanism uh, that will raise and lower these blocks here uh, in a specific interval, uh, or what I found to be the most reliable shortest interval. You can of course extend that interval as much as you want. Now for the redstone up top here, right here we have a standard etho hopper clock, and on the right we have a standard pulse extender. When this hopper clock with 88 items in it extend or activates, it'll extend this observer into this block. Activating this repeater, which will extend the one tick pulse out into a four tick pulse. That will then go through this pulse extender to give a time frame for these blocks to be up, as you can see here. Once this decays, as you can see from the right side of the F3 uh, menu there, it will turn this torch back on and re-extend the pistons. Now I'll go ahead and wait a couple minutes, or one minute, for it to turn back on so you can actually see the, uh, the power level there, just in case some of you want to see that. And here we go. As you can see, the power goes from 15, actually it's probably, at this point it's 1, 2, it's probably 13 by the time it gets to this, so four, 12 by the time it gets to that. Uh, but you can see that decays, and that is the main mechanic of a pulse extender there. It just slows down the decay of the signal. Now for the villager scaring mechanism, it's important that the pillows are accessible to the villagers because that's how they detect beds. And on this wall here, you can just have your workstation of choice. And having the uh, air gap here above the pillows allows for the villagers' eyes to meet with the zombies' eyes. If I press F3 and B here, you can see the line of sight lines there. And those aren't obstructed by anything. And that is important. Now, another thing that's important is that all blocks that aren't in this spawning chamber at the bottom are non-spawnable. So these redstone uh, components block spawning, these slabs block spawning, and the glass block spawning. These are also slabs down here, by the way. And that way, the only spawnable space for the iron golems, when the villagers get scared, is in this spawning chamber. Now, if you really want to increase or maximize the efficiency of this chamber here, you can increase its size as well as increasing this delay a little bit to ensure that the villagers have as many chances as they can. I think it's 20 maximum chances. If that's off, to, off the top of my head, it might be 30. Um, but the villagers, every time they're scared, try multiple times to spawn an iron golem. And in this setup here, they will always spawn the iron golem inside this chamber. Now another thing that's important about the positions of everything is that the zombie is on the side of the spawning chamber that has the killing blade, or killing lava blade. And that way, the iron golem will be encouraged to walk towards the blade rather than away. Some farms that I've seen have the killing chamber on, or the, uh, yeah, the, the killing and spawning chamber on this side of the villagers uh, with the zombie on the opposite side. And what that means is that when the zombie gets to the edge of the water blade, they'll have enough traction to try and walk back towards the zombie which would be on that side, preventing it from getting killed in a timely manner. So having the zombie on this side just means the iron golem will willingly walk into uh, the lava. And as you can see, there's that 2% chance 2-ish percent chance of the iron golem not spawning. Another thing that's important here is that these are trap doors, uh, because of course the iron golem needs to fit under them to get to the lava blade. And that is every facet of this device covered from top to bottom, 
So now I'll just give you some angles to build the device off of. So here's number one for you to get your killing chamber and your scaring chambers done. Here's one from the other side. Here's the redstone up top. Here's a bird's eye view of that redstone. And here is the other side of the hopper clock. And that should be everything you need to be able to construct this farm in your world. So that's going to do for today. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.